Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. It's time to check out another B550 board. This time it's MSI's turn. We're checking out the MSI MAG B550 Tomahawk. Now, this B550 board is a real performance focused board and it is one of the boards that you guys have actually been asking us to check out the most. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna check it out. But just remember ladies and gents, this is not a review. I have to say that because it's just not a review, it's just an overview. So with all that said, roll that intro. Like I mentioned in the intro, this video is not a review. This is just an overview so you can get an idea of what comes in the box and uh, yeah, what's on the board with these brand new B550 motherboards and they're very, very cool by the looks of it. So I'm gonna stop talking. And we're gonna check out this new beauty from MSI. Let's do it. Alrighty, ladies and gents, it's MSI's turn. Let's check out the MSI MAG B550 Tomahawk. This is one of the most requested B550 boards we've had to date for us to check out. So. Let's go ahead and check it out. First off, we've got this pamphlet with all of the MSI products. Basically, it's all of their gaming stuff. So if you're interested, you can just take a little bit of a peek at what they have on offer. Next up is this, thank you for choosing a MSI product. This product was made with great passion and we hope you could enjoy it. I also hope that I could enjoy it as well. Next up, we've got a little pamphlet for joining the MSI rewards program. Now, if you use this, you can sign up on their website and basically register all your products and you can win some stuff. Maybe it's not guaranteed, but yeah, I mean, you gotta be in it to win it, right? Okay. Next up, we've got this badge for your case. Now this is an MSI Dragon sticker that will give you probably another 480 billion frames per second at 8K. It's very nice. You can use this. You don't have to use it, but it does give you extra frames per second. Well, not really, but yeah, it's a joke, guys. All right, there's this uh, round circular device with some stuff on it that no one uses or no one has a drive to use to actually access anything on these. Uh, yeah, just give us USB sticks. Uh, there's two SATA or SATA cables for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rust drives. Pretty standard stuff here. And because this is kind of like a mid tier slash entry level B550 board, there's not actually a lot of stuff in the box here. So yeah, anyway, let's move along and let's take a look at some of the documentation. First up, we've got the quick insulation guide. Now this will basically show you how to socket the CPU. If you've never socketed it before, it actually shows you how to do it for both Intel and AMD chips. So yeah, this is just a good little reference guide for learning. Next up is the manual or the user guide. And this basically tells you everything on the board and what everything does in the BIOS. So if you get stuck with something with your motherboard, please use this as a reference guide because it is very very handy when you get stuck. All right let's unsheath the motherboard and take a little bit of a closer look at the brand new MSI MAG B550 Tomahawk. All right let's go. First up we've got the front panel audio connector. There's a 12 volt RGB header. There is a PWM fan connector. There is one of these little switches. I think this is the greatest invention ever, an RGB switch, so you can turn your RGB on and off. Very, very nice. There's also another PWM fan connector, two USB 2.0 headers, a USB 3.2 header, and behind that USB 3.2 header, there's another 12 volt RGB header. There's the front panel connector for your lights and wires to turn your system on, and a three pin five volt addressable RGB header, as well as another PWM fan connector. And if we take a look along the right hand edge of the board, there are six SATA connectors or SATA connectors for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning RAS drives. And if you move a little bit further up that side of the board, you'll notice there is a front panel USB type C header. There's also the 24 pin power connector to send all the juice to your brand new B550 motherboard as well as the easy debug LED screen that's basically like for postcodes and also two more PWM fan connectors. Along the top side of the board we've got another addressable RGB header, a AIO pump header and a CPU fan header. You'll also notice there is a really chunky heatsink along the top side of the board. 
That helps to cool that 10 plus 2 plus 1 phase digital VRM setup. And towards the right hand side or the top left hand side of the board, there's an 8 pin EPS power connector. If we take a look at the PCIe slots on the board, there are two by 16 size slots, although both of them are not both by 16. The top one is, the one with the one with the silver shielding is, and the bottom one is a by 8 slot. And there's also two by 1 slots on the board as well. And because this is B550, and this is one of the best things about B550, it supports most of the stuff X570 does, but the chipset is not actively cooled, and it doesn't need to be. So this is actually a bonus for B550. And speaking of things that are different to X570, this board features a 10 plus 2 plus 1 phase VRM setup with 60 amp power stages. This is actually a pretty impressive VRM setup for a B550 board. There's also the whole IO cover, which is also another the giant heatsink to help cool those VRMs, the very elegant design. And if we flip the board and have a look over on the back side, there is no backplate, but it does have the standard AM4 backplate for your cooler mounting solution. All right, let's take off those M.2 heatsinks so we can take a closer look at the M.2 slots. There are two M.2 slots in total. The top one is a Gen 4 slot and the bottom one is a Gen 3 slot. Not every single slot on this board supports Gen 4. However, it is present, which I think is very good for this budget focused chipset. Because this is a B550 board, it's got a standard AM4 socket. However, please keep in mind that this supports Ryzen 3000 and above only and not the Ryzen 3000. An APU. So if you've got Ryzen 2000 or second gen Ryzen, it will not be supported with this motherboard. There's four DDR4 RAM slots which support a total of 128 gigs of RAM at 4866 megahertz overclocked. If we take a look at the rear I.O., there's a flash BIOS button that allows you to flash the BIOS without a CPU on the socket. There's a PS2 port, there's some USB ports, there's a display port if you're using an APU or an HDMI port. There's a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapter, some USB 3.2 connectors, a 1 gigabit Ethernet adapter, some USB Type-C, and 7.1 digital surround sound supporting SPDIF and optical audio out. And there's also that integrated I.O. shield. But you know what time it is, ladies and gents. It's B-roll time. Let's do it. Ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed that first look at this brand new B550 board from MSI, the MAG B550 Tomahawk. I like the look of the board. It's kind of a uh, more mid-range performance focused B550 board. And I just wanted to just chat about B550 in general because I've been seeing a lot of misinformation going around in comment sections of other videos and just on YouTube and the internet in general. Now, B550 is a replacement for B450. However, there is a top here for B550 and you really need to understand that there's a new market that they're building for these boards that are basically kind of taking over where X570 is so the reason for it is B550 can do most of what X570 can do however the chipsets are not actively cooled because they do not need to be most of the uh, features like PCIe Gen 4 across every single slot a lot of people aren't using it, which is why B550 has the features of 
single M.2 for PCIe Gen 4 and a single actual slot for PCIe Gen 4. Just really understand what's happening here. Now, if you were to look at a B450 board and you're wanting to find a drop-in replacement for B550, there are boards that are going to be the same price with that uplifted feature set. Don't get that twisted, guys. I know there's always a lot of discussion about pricing and things getting more expensive, but actually look what you're spending money on first. Instead of just jumping to conclusions about new platforms always being more expensive, you're getting what you pay for, essentially. I'm not defending the vendors or anyone with these boards and pricing, but just really like take that into account when you're looking at comparing prices between generations. There will be like segments and boards that are literally dropping replacements in the same price bracket, give or take maybe 10 to $15. So yeah, um, I know a lot of people are uh, really talking about these top tier B550 boards. Like why wouldn't you just buy X570? The answer is very simple, right? passively called chipsets, right? And just, yeah, that's that's my take on B550. But remember, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a review of this board. This is me just talking about B550 in general. And yeah, there's some interesting stuff that you guys are probably gonna see when B550 drops, which we don't know yet. I don't know pricing of the Tomahawk at all. I don't know anything. MSI just sent the board throughs for us to check out and said that we're allowed to make a video. So that's exactly what we did. Anyways, guys, if you like the music you heard here, I make all the music. It's available over on our Patreon. If you wanna support the channel, we have a little join button down there somewhere. You can uh, click that button and have a little play around with the join button. Or if you wanna get early access to videos just like this one, head on over to Float Plane. If you like this video, smash the like button. If you hated it, hit the dislike button twice. Is that, that's how it works, right, Claire? Yep. You hit the button twice. And yeah, I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. And just going back to what I was saying about B550 and the top tier boards, there is a lot of people confused about pricing and stuff. And, and, and all the pricing that's come out with these boards is most of it's not confirmed anyway. And sure, the pricing is probably gonna be around there, but just really think about what people are complaining about. And the truth is, people don't know what they're whinging about half the time. Thanks for watching.